Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add bleed marks on your InDesign documents and also explain a little bit why they're so important when you are dealing with uh, printing material and printing anything that's going to go to printing um, such as flyers, business cards, posters, portfolios, etc. So let's begin by opening InDesign and let's create a new file. I'm just going to create a using a, an existing template, so an A4 template. So the first thing you do is you go to the very far right and you select your units. Obviously, I'm in the UK EU area, so I'm going to select millimeters and you scroll down to the bottom and here you have bleed and here we can select our bleed marks. So a normal, a very common uh, bleed mark uh, amount, especially like I said, for flyers, posters, business cards, um, typically we use three millimeters uh, for the US uh, if you change it to inches we typically use 0.125 as a common measurement so that will be enough for your bleed marks for like I said business cards flyers posters portfolios etc okay so now that I have my document set up uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to place my image into here the image that I want to print out so let's zoom in and I'll teach you a little bit more about bleed marks so it's important to know that everything that you see here everything that's between the border of the workable space and this red line this is what's considered the bleed and the bleed is a section that that printers are going to chop off, are going to remove once it's printed, and I'll tell you why. So for instance, let's say that we have this image here, and this is what you give the printer. And you give the printer everything, you give the printer the whole image, and including the white space around it. Now, the printer's going to have a lot of trouble if you tell him or her I would like everything, I would like the image to appear, but I don't want any of the white space to come out. So it's going to be virtually impossible for the printer to get it accurately on this line. He probably will end up leaving a little bit of white space in between here. So you'll see a very faint white line along the edge of your, of your design, or he might cut a little bit into it. Well, that's what the bleed mark is there for. It's there to solve the problem. So let me zoom out. Let me put this in proportion and in the right size. So let's put it down. So a little trick I'm about to show you. So the first thing you do is, yeah, you extend the, the lines all the way to the red mark. The red, uh, the red line, sorry. So if you have your image selected, you hold control and you go down to fitting on this drop down and this drop down menu and you click on fill frame proportionally. Here is also the shortcut, but in this case, I'm just showing you on this uh, drop down menu and it will fill it in proportionally. So now you can see if I press W and that's W on the Mac, you will see more or less what is going to be cut off. So if you look at this tree, this line here, this yellow line that you see is going to be removed. This won't appear. More, more than likely, the printer will cut somewhere between these lines, between here and there, between the ed end of the workable space and the edge of the red line. So that is really it. That's all we have to know about lean marks. Now let's suppose just one more thing. Let's suppose you create a document, but you forget to place your bleed marks. So let's just create a document really quickly, millimeters and A4, and then you have it. So no bleed marks, as you can see, because there's no red lines. Well, solution would be to that would be is go to file, go to document setup, and on the bottom of this window, you will see bleed. So you can just put your numbers in, and press OK and see they will appear there at the very end. So there you have it guys. That is how you use bleed marks and now you know why bleed marks are so important. Thanks.